Alright, what is up guys? Welcome back to your favorite High Jedi channel. Today's early release video will be about Stardew Valley Min Max Guide Days 8 through 15, aka Part 2. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe to elevate yourself and like to get Rasmodius to make a potion that will grant you unlimited energy one time a year. Hey, a guy can dream, can he? <laughs> Anyways guys, let's get into this. So day eight. Day eight starts off as our first day to harvest the oak resin. The hopes are that you've created 20 to 30 tappers and have much more oak resin on the way after this harvest. The oak resin won't be ready depending on when you planted the tappers. It's always best to go for mornings. Unfortunately, I had planted mine at night, but that's okay. I just went ahead and collected my gear and headed off to the mines for ores that I badly needed. Leave the mines early if you have to retrieve your oak resin. Go ahead and smelt some bars from the day's mining and then call it a day. So day 9 I decided to upgrade our pickaxe. Soon we would have our first harvest and access to the skull cavern which will be our buffer type income. Kegs and melons will be our main, then iridium, and obviously any other valuables you can sell from skull cavern will be the backup. Once Clit opens up, buy some coal too as you will not have access to the mines for three, it ended up being three days as I forgot about the festival the following day. Days. <laughs> That's okay though. You need to consistently Consistently work on foraging after you have dropped off your axe to Clint for upgrades. Work Barney's farm, your farm, and anywhere in Stardew where you can get foraging experience. Berries, chopping trees, etc. Once you're done, make sure you've smelted your ore for the night and then head to bed. So day 10 is the first day I recommend focusing some of your resources, but not all, to more quality sprinklers before day 13 on melon harvest day. It adds a lot to your overall profit, and we are a farm after all. Smelt bars in the morning, make sure to have an even amount of refined quartz, iron, and gold bars for sprinklers. Use what you have for the next couple days, then hold off on using them because we will need to make kegs also on the 13th. I had quite a bit of ore stacked up, and it looked like I was going to be able to Produce around 15 more sprinklers, which is 120 more melons and around 80,000 more gold at harvest. The more the better. Go ahead and finish the rest of the day off with foraging what you haven't on Marnie's farm and in and around the forest area and also on your farm and then go ahead and smelt some more bars and call it a day. Day 11 is short and sweet, just like Abigail. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll keep it that way too. Just make sure to smelt and forage the day away. Make the usual route taken for spring, chop logs, forage berries, and all that fun stuff. Once you're done, call it a day. You'll get your pickaxe back tomorrow, so don't worry. Day 12 is quite the easy one as well. Your pickaxe is ready like I promised and you have quite the full day to mine, so get to it. I needed some more iron than anything, so I focused on levels 40 through 79 in the mines. Whichever ores you need, you need to make sure to mine those floors. I went home early to make sure I could smelt some more of today's bounty from the mines and then went to bed. Hopefully you sleep well because tomorrow is going to be quite the day. And the 14th. And the 15th. Day
Day 13 is a very busy day. Wake up and start harvesting your much awaited first melon batch. As you're doing so, smelt bars you need for the amount of sprinklers you can make. Like I said, mine was about 15. After you harvest, save 150 melons or so. You may not be using all of them before the end of summer, but it's just for an extra stash for kegs. Sell the rest you harvested today, and after harvest, go right to Pierre's. Buy as many melon seeds as you can. If you can, buy all the seeds that your farm can handle. Just do it. <laughs> Tomorrow you will have a massive income though, so it's not a problem if you wait to buy your melon seeds until then. They will still come ripe before fall. After that, hit the mines hard. Whatever ores you need, go and get them. After that, go home and plant the seeds you have bought, if any, and smelt more bars as usual. Once done and before bed, go ahead and put any sprinklers you made out. Tomorrow will be the last day to plant any melons and have a profit before day one of fall. Day 14 is even busier than the 13th. Wake up and make your kegs with the oak resin, wood, iron bars, and copper bars you've hopefully collected. I made 21 and filled them with melons. The first batch is ready in 6.94 days, so 7 days basically. After that, prep your land for all the seeds you can handle till and set sprinklers then head to town. I was also able to pick up every dwarf scroll which is a huge bonus for Skull Cavern. The dwarf scrolls allow you to understand the dwarf within the mines and you are now able to purchase bombs. I went to Gunther's first then went to Pierre's to buy the rest of the melons. Once I was done I headed to the community center and paid off the vault bundles to acquire access to Skull Cavern via Pam and the bus. Once done head back to the farm and plant your seeds. While you plant seeds always make sure and smelt. Also go ahead and finish the day by foraging on your farm and Marnie's. Any trees that ha may have grown go ahead and cut down and if they are oaks tap them. Don't forget you'll want as many oak resin as you can by the 21st to finish the kegs you'll have for the season. The more the better. So go to bed once you've had a full day. Day 15 is a fun one. We had a very happy fortune day and it is our first day in the Skull Cavern. Wake up and check the farm for any oak resin, trees, etc. Around 8.30, head to the dwarf in the mines and purchase bombs, as many as you feel comfortable with. I bought 20 as well as brought my quartz, which you can trade along with the rubies for goods from the desert trader on the way to Skull Cavern in Calico Desert. Once done, go back home, smelt until 9.30 a.m and head to the bus stop for Pam. Trade your goods and go straight for Skull Cavern. We had an amazing day. I got a prismatic shard for my galaxy sword, which I hope you do too, and I got plenty of iridium and other ores. Once you're done, go to bed. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. Longer one, I know, but if it does help and you do enjoy, please make sure to share, subscribe if you're new, and like this video. More to come soon. Catch me on Twitch as well, five days a week, 8 p.m. Pacific standard time and check my YouTube for more info. As always guys, stay lit, stay up, and stay high Jedi. Sayonara.